Okay, so we're going to make another shim. And you're going to start with a one inch high piece of aluminum from a can. You can draw one line in the middle to kind of divide it in half. And then you draw additional lines to divide those sections in half. So you'll have three lines in four sections. And then you divide widthwise the piece in half with a line. And you're going to make sort of an M shape with a really rounded M point. If it's too pointy, it's going to snap off in the lock. So as you see here, it's kind of rounded. All right, the next step is actually kind of tricky, and it's going to require a little bit of delicate touch, but you want to cut that M shape out and try not to have any sharp corners, because that's going to kill your shim and maybe break a piece off in the lock. And if you do that and you don't know the combination of the lock, you're fucked for using another shim. So try not to do that. It's one of the reasons that my assistant is doing this and not me, because I bust the shit out of a lot of shims. Okay, so there you have the shape. You see it's a little bit rounded here. Now the first step is to fold the top part down along the line that you drew. Cool. The next step is to fold the bottom part up into what I like to call the moose horn step. Okay, you flip it over, you fold the moose horns down what I call the jockstrap shape. Nice. And then you will shape the shim to fit around the shackle of the padlock. If you like to use a sharpie, um, if you have time you can also use the shackle of the lock you're trying to open. Okay, so what we do here is we put the shim on the inside of the left shackle. So if you're looking at the padlock, it's the one on the left. That's the one that opens and is held down by the single ball mechanism. So the shim is going to go right down in there and hopefully open the ball. Boom. Just like that. And it's open. Awesome job.